We're in London. LDN, the big small. I honestly have such a soft spot for this place. The architecture, the busy atmosphere. It's like weirdly addictive whenever I leave London that like there's something drawing me back there. So today we're doing some portrait photography. started photography, I loved shooting portraits. I loved creating like beauty in the mundane, I guess. Which is why I met up with Phil Bailey, aka Papa Stash. And we went around London shooting portraits, headshots, you name it. We started out in Spitalfield, in the east end of London. We shot around the market area on like the main strip outside the market. As we were looking for a place to shoot, the perfect backdrop presented itself as it literally perfectly matched Phil's shirt. If I get you just spot on. <laughs> I tried out multiple angles at this location because there was so much going on and each angle can give a different look. I started shooting Phil flat on against the wall with him looking directly at me. Yeah, perfect. Let's see what the lighting is. Yeah, yeah, get the nails in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I then shifted round to the left of him, making him turn his head slightly towards me, giving a more relaxed pose. Yeah, there is. I moved around to shoot side on, still keeping the colourful backdrop in frame, but also showing the different points of interest in the frame, as well as getting a different angle from Phil. Now you looking at me a sec? Yeah. Hold on. I did this on both sides. So essentially, we got three looks That's from one location. Yeah. Then I tried out a couple of headshots in natural light. Nothing too formal, just some natural close-ups. So if I can get you sort of this way a bit and then a bit closer to me. Perfect. So the lighting's good. Yeah, perfect. I love that look of getting the, the front of the face in focus, but then towards the back of the head and the ears. I love getting that out of focus. And you get that look by lowering your aperture. These are my favorite shots from this location. Out of all of these, I'd say this was my favorite. I love the composition and I feel like it frames Phil perfectly. Then we moved location. So there is a mountain here, so. <laughs> yeah. Just down the road from where we were just shooting, I spotted like an outdoor seating area and I thought this would be an ideal spot for Phil to sit and pose as if he's yeah, just watching the world go by. I moved around Phil as he was sat there, getting different perspectives, changing up the background and the poses and using things in the foreground to add interest. Watching the world go by. Not as many at this spot, but I guess that makes it easier to pick my favourite, which would have to be this one. I love what's going on in the background and this one has the most candid feel to it out of these shots. Shall we move on? Sweet! Uh, the young photographer in me still loves the classic red brick backdrop. So what did we do when we saw one? We tried the um, the classic red brick. I could get you just off the path, so on the, on the road still, but right up against it. Get that depth of field in there. So with these, I went straight in with the close-up vibe. I wanted Phil to stand out as much as possible against that busy-looking backdrop. You know, all the red and the lines and the white lines. Just, it's a busy backdrop. Oh yeah, so I could get you just looking up at that, that corner of that. Lovely light in there. So I stood him away from the wall and I shot close-up. The distance between Phil and the wall allows us to create that blurry effect, better known as bokeh. Bokeh? Bokeh? I've, I've never been... Boka. Boka. There we go. Oh, I looking straight at me. Then I turned him round and shot him from the left side, which gave a more cooler, more of a calm backdrop. Turn you this way, Tad. Cooler in the sense of colour, not cooler, because you can't get cooler than a red brick backdrop. What do you mean you can get cooler than a red brick So these are the final shots we came away with, and this one would have to be my favourite. I love the composition, it fits Phil in perfectly, and the light on his face makes him stand out that extra bit. Next! Cool. <laughs> Then we landed at Liverpool Street Station. The whole building is like this light shade of brick that like resembles sandstone from Minecraft mode, boys. Uh, I just love the colour of this wall. Like, I'm a fan of neutrals, like beiges, browns, whites, greys, all of them, like neutral colours. And paired with Phil's blue shirt, just gave a nice contrast. I went for two kinds of shots, a close-in mid shot and then a close-up head shot. Shift you this way a sec. There we go, yeah, perfect. Bring you a tad closer to me for the, the depth of field. And then just to our right, there was this black corrugated fence slash gate, and we used that as well. And the contrast between okay. Phil and the very dark backdrop, obviously because it's black, gave a nice contrast. It's just made for an all round nice composition. Oh, I like this, it's nice. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. I tried out a mixture of landscape and portrait shots, but we didn't stay at this location for too long. So out of these ones, this one has to be my favorite. I feel like it could be used as an advert for his shirt or his hat. It has a very commercial feel to it and it works. Let's go to the next spot. We're at a very regal looking spot now with the architecture in the back and the black railing nestled into the corner using the architecture as the backdrop. Yeah. Quite literally just on the middle of the street here. Down there. 
I like these shots with this backdrop because it's a very natural backdrop. And again, look at me a sec. From the colours to the bush in the background, a smile. it adds some life to the background. And with the colours being so neutral, it makes Phil stand out as a subject. If this one was a tough one, but if I had to choose, it'd be this one. This one gives me a very natural feel. Like we're getting to know Phil as a person, not just photographing, which is why I love it. The next location we came across was St. Boltoff without Bishop's Gate Gardens. If anyone can fill me in on why it's called that, it'd be very much appreciated. Ooh, I'm not going here. I like the green. I could get you actually just sort of down there, get that in the backdrop. We sat down and I angled the camera upwards, giving us more of that lovely greenery in the background. Oh, yeah, sit down. Yeah, a bit nicer down. Nice. Thank you. Because obviously I come from the countryside, I love greenery, but like London lacks that. A little bit. Also, you can't really see what I'm shooting here because of the angle I'm at. So, um, yeah, there wasn't too much that I could do here due to the fact that I was very low to the ground. But I played with angling up and getting more of the background in. Lovely. And when Phil looked up, the light caught his face just right to give that perfect contrast to that dark background. And to me, this one felt the most natural. I feel this pose makes him appear more open, whereas the others feel closed off. Also, the lighting hits his face just right in this one. We then moved round to an area near the Gherkin on St. Mary Axe. <laughs> Oh yeah, the plastic. Can you study here for a sec actually? Sort of in this bend here. I didn't really focus on the gherkin in these shots. I just like the colours and especially the old building in the back. Nice little backdrop there. And then you've got that curved line just behind Phil adding some foreground interest. Well, I say foreground, it's behind Phil, but it's in, it's in the foreground in comparison to the background. I did three different kinds of shots here. One wide, one more close in, and then one close up. Just to give more variation and more to play over in the edit and more content to use all around. Again, not too many from this spot, but my favorite is this one. I like the others, but again, I feel like this is a picture to get to know Phil, not just a picture of him. Nice. So these are my favorite shots from the day. From each location, I chose one shot. We have a nice range of shots here, from close up to wide, a range of different backdrops and poses, making up for a variety of different portfolio pieces that both myself and Phil can use. Always get more content than you think you need, as you never know how it'll turn out. A huge thanks to Phil, AKA Papa Stash, for letting me film this and work with him on this project. Check out his socials, all in the description. Is, is a top, top man. If you'd like to see me edit these pictures or if you'd like to see more POV videos, let me know in the comments. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.